Good morning and welcome Team Southside, where teamwork makes the dream work. Mr. Reynolds here. And Miss D, and I have some awesome fifth graders with me. Um, Ella Tomlin from um, Miss Mullinex class in fifth grade. Trinity Carter from Miss Coyle's class. All right, well go ahead and stand up and let's say the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, guys, we are halfway through the week, and we just want to give a shout out again to our awesome principals of the day from yesterday. Ella did a great job representing, and so did Briar. We are so proud of them, and it was so nice to have some extra help. Nice. Good times. Yeah, yeah take a little bit of the burdens off right? of us. It was really nice. So nice. we are so excited about that. Okay, guys, well, you know we are currently doing two words of the, the Week. And our word of the week, words of the week, are featured in our Portrait of a Learner, and they are being a responsible contributor. So yesterday we talked about, or the day before, we talked about examples of being a responsible contributor in class. Well, today let's kind of focus on the opposite, like an antonym or a, a non-example, the opposite of being a responsible contributor. So what would be the opposite of that, ladies? Of um, maybe not sharing the spotlight. Oh, good, Ella. So, you know, when you're in a group, if you kind of take over the group and you only use your ideas and you really don't share that group load with your, you know, your group members, then mm -hmm. you're not really sharing the spotlight and that's not being very responsible of you. I love it. Love it. Really? Also, like hers, um, not like, mm, not listening to other people's ideas and like going off of yours good so mm. really like having your mind made up and not really listening to others perspectives and kind of saying oh no well, i'm going to do it this way good job and really if you think about it like in a group setting if i just sit back and i don't do anything is that being a responsible contributor no, no way not at all. so that would be the opposite when you don't share the spotlight when you really have you're fixed on your ways and you don't give yourself a chance to contribute and be responsible with that all right, guys, we're so happy that you brought in more money today for our so fundraiser. Great. Today was the last collection day. I uh, hope your class is the one that's going Me to earn too. the camping party. It's going to be so fun. Uh, I'm looking mm -hmm. forward to those s'mores for sure. Yes. And just behind us out here on Friday, it are going to, this is the place where the inflatables are going to be set up, where the dunking booth is going to be, and where the water balloon fight will be. <gasps> this is so, the ground for the water right. balloon fight. So just imagine all that behind us on Friday. So much fun. We're gonna have a great time. I know, <laughs> it's gonna be so fun, you guys. So I, I think I've heard probably 20 kids say how much they want to dunk Miss Durr. I know! Listen, Friday. I have been so nice. I am undeserving. I need to plead my case. I need some time to plead I my case. <laughs> Why does everybody want to dunk Mr. You know, Durr? I'm thinking about my schedule that day, Mr. Reynolds. I think I have like meetings all day long on Friday. Oh, wow. So sorry, <laughs> not gonna be able to be there. <laughs> I want to dunk Miss Coyle. Oh, do you? They, yeah, let's put no. somebody else in there. No. Yeah. Well, it is going to be so much fun, you guys, and we cannot wait. So many exciting things, and right behind us, it's going to look very different on Friday with all the fun things that you can do. All right, you guys. Well, you know we love seeing you here at Southside and we of course love seeing you be safe, respectful, and responsible. And it's always a great day to be a Southside Stallion. Bye guys! Bye! Bye.